I was going from here to here to here. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of Your Herd, where we deliver the latest and greatest stories from Huntington. I'm Brittany Fowler. Braden Maddox got a chance to witness members of BCM, Marshall's on-campus Christian Center, raise awareness for modern day slavery. Let's take a look. My name is Drew and I'm on leadership with BCM. Uh, today we're participating in what's known as End It Day. And that's just globally, um, there's the End It movement and they've uh, designated February 25th as End It Day, and that's just the day they've set aside to bring awareness globally to uh, slavery. There are many people that have an ignorance on the subject of slavery and its existence in today's culture. Uh, most people think after the Emancipation Proclamation, uh, slavery was, was gone and done away with, but in actuality, it's still very prevalent today. 27 million people are still considered uh, being captain in slavery. We have a group of people stationed on campus for 27 hours for the 27 million to bring awareness to slavery today. The reason that we do this is to stand and speak for those who can't, to give those people a voice and to let them know that they are loved and wanted. What a great cause. Thanks, Brayden. Have you ever wished you could see your favorite film on the big screen? This week, Ryan traveled to the Keith Albee for the Martial Artist Series, where they screened The Breakfast Club in honor of its 30th anniversary. For years, the Martial Artist Series has had a reputation throughout the Tri-State for providing entertaining and informative events for both the community and Marshall University students. On Sunday, February 21st, Martial Artist Series presented Molly Ringwald Returns to the Club, a 30th anniversary screening the beloved John Hughes classic, The Breakfast Club which also featured Molly Ringwald herself as she appeared to present the film and also allowed fans to ask her their own questions. Along with an extensive Q&A after the screening of the film, Molly Ringwald also made herself available for a personal, private meeting with Marshall University's theater students where they had the opportunity to speak with Molly and ask her questions of their own one-on-one. -on -one. She was really nice. She was really welcoming. Um, all of our questions she welcomed in and she always had a really cool personal response. Um, she didn't give vague general responses. She really was personal and really allowed us in to get really cool answers about the things that we were asking and the things that we were interested in about her. Um, she, she covered the Breakfast Club, but she also talked about her personal life, what it was like being a child, um, going into stardom and, and how she felt about it and her support that she got from her family. So we got a lot of really cool, interesting details that you wouldn't just get off online or you know, maybe if you just saw them on TV or something. This event was presented at Huntington's legendary Keith Albee Performing Arts Center, and it was attended by people of all ages, including longtime lovers of the film and also newfound fans. Um, it was really fun because I didn't know what to expect, and everybody else around me loved it. And at the end, when he put his hand up, it was cool because a bunch of other people put their hand up, and I was like, I want to put my hand up, but I didn't know it was happening, but I wish I did, and it was really cool, and I loved it. <laughs> Whether seeing the film for the first time or witnessing their favorite moments on the big screen, surrounded by other lovers of the film, it's safe to say the event was a success. This is Ryan Murphy, you heard. Thanks Ryan, we'll be right back after this commercial. We are Marshall, a proud family and a distinctive comprehensive university. We are one of West Virginia's oldest public universities. We honor tradition while looking toward the future. We are the foundation of opportunity for students in West Virginia and across the globe. We are committed to student success in the classroom and beyond. We are Marshall. Your best decision ever. Welcome back. With spring just around the corner, that means baseball season is in full swing. But if you are planning on attending a game, well, that might be a problem, considering Marshall doesn't even have a field. Let's hear what some of the players have to say. 
About seven miles outside of Marshall University's campus lies the George T. Smales baseball field, which the Marshall University baseball team has been given permission to use. Many people may ask why they don't just practice on their own field, but the problem is they don't have one. Two players shared their thoughts on not having a field and both agreed it's actually not that bad. I mean, I, we didn't have a home field at my junior college either, so it's not really a big deal for me. I mean, it was skeptical at first, but everything works out. You know, we go out to Power Park and we play at a nice minor league complex, so can't complain about that. The National College Athletic Association said that since the field has limited seating, locker rooms, and lies outside the city's flood walls, it makes it ineligible for conference play. But the players said that even though they're okay with not having a field, they feel the program would greatly improve from one being built. I think we would get a lot more support from the student body. Um, if we had a field on campus, it would be a lot easier to come to game, home games. and. Um, just being able to be out on the field as much as possible would help us a lot. More people would want to come knowing that we'd have a good atmosphere because we'd have actual students and fans to come out to the games instead of having to drive an hour to not, I mean, not have an actual home field. The team will continue to play their games in Charleston until they get a field, which they hope to see happen in the near future. I'm Brittany Fowler. You heard. Thank you guys for tuning in this week. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at Marshall You Heard. I'm Brittany Fowler. Have a great rest of your day.